Do you mind telling us a little bit about your story and how you came to, to find the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints? Well, for me, it really started in a foster home. So I was, I'm a product of a foster care system in New York City. I was raised in the Jones family. So hence, I go by Kevin Jones Giddens. Jones is my foster name. But it was a loving foster home. My mother had fostered over 35 kids. So in that foster home, I learned about Christ because she was a Christian woman. I remember Mormon missionaries knocking on our door. Uh, I was about 12 or 13, and my mother said, tell them we're Baptists. <laughs> and I didn't know what that meant by <laughs> telling them we're Baptists as opposed to, you know, I thought all Christians were the same. Mm -hmm. And as the missionaries left, I'm telling you, Ben, I felt the spirit, something saying, Kevin, they had something. And I felt a loss that I had to send them away. Uh, and I didn't have that, didn't recognize that feeling again until I got associated with the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I left home, left New York, left New Jersey, went to school in Ohio. And that was the first time I recognized that God had a, he was aware of me. I wanted to go to Ohio State University, big football team. I was at a big game going, go Buckeyes, go Buckeyes. And someone said, Kevin, this is not the Buckeyes, it's the Bobcats. <laughs> and I realized I was at the wrong college. <laughs> I called my mom and said, Mom, I'm at the wrong college. She says, Kevin, your father drove eight hours, dropping you off, and education's education. Might as well stay there. Click. <laughs> and so I stayed there at the wrong university. I'm the first generation to go to college. I didn't know universities called themselves by the same name, Ohio State University, Ohio University. And by the fact of me going to the wrong school, I had experiences at that university that had I went to Ohio State, it would have been the wrong place. Mm -hmm. God knew where I needed to be. And I recognized that God had a hand in where I went to college, that he was concerned of where I went to college. I graduated in dance, the arts, fine arts, communication and dance. I was at Opryland and Grand Ole Opry, their lead dancer. And I realized I was not living my life the way my mother taught me. Mm. My mother called and I couldn't tell her where I was going out at, with the cast after a party to a party. And I said, you know what, Kevin, you're not living the, white, the same life your mother taught you as a Christian. And so I realized I needed to give up the entertainment industry because I thought it was, it was not for me. Mm -hmm. So I quit the show. And that day I quit, I met Mormons. <laughs> who told me to come for BYU and dance for God. And I didn't know what that meant to come to BYU and dance for God, but they wanted me to join a group called the Young Ambassadors. And so I didn't know why, but I thought, okay, I'll try it. <laughs> and so I came to BYU not knowing what was going on, came with my, plastic, uh, my leather pants and everything. I'm walking on campus for the first time on a Sunday thinking I'm going to see people hung over and that was not the case. I saw all these people walking with these little briefcases going to church. <laughs> I thought I'm not in Kansas anymore. And when I got here, I met the young ambassadors and after about two months, I joined the church. And wow. I was so excited to hear about the plan of salvation and all this stuff. I felt that the Lord literally brought me here, literally. And I was, I was clean, I was, I was renewed, I was born again, and I didn't want to get out of the font. I stayed in there. They had to say, Kevin, come out. You need the Holy Ghost. Come on. Come out. But I was in there for a long time just enjoying that feeling of being a new man.